Hey everyone, Necroberry is back with another episode of Oxen Free. In the last episode, we got this new fancy radio and uh, kind of a hunt from Maggie Adler. Um, she said that this island isn't what it really is. We need to figure that out. But first, we're going to go see if there's a boat here and maybe um, if there is a boat, then we're going to go try to find Clarissa because we still have no idea where she is. Um, let's go. I see a boat. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. Ah, oh, she does have a boat. Yeah, see? Allie knew what she was talking about. She should, anyway. I mean, she had to schlep back and forth here all summer. Curiosity's getting the better of me. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. And here's a combination for a padlock to a chest is all it says. 29, 18, 54. A chest? Have you seen one yet? <sighs> Negative, but maybe I just missed it. She made a lot of, what should I call these s slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Well, I guess we'll come back to that. Because everybody else wants to go see the boat, so we're going to go see the boat. Oh. Oh, it's like a... It's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No, Sometimes we checked when everything. I lock myself out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt, trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really. But we can try that now if you think it'll help. Let's go rob her house. That sounds like it's gonna work. a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. Is a nifty gizmo. Let's do this. Okay. Fine. Clarissa, oh, God, Jesus. You scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. Clarissa, where have you been? After we saw you in town, you just. Hey, I could ask you the same thing. It was like I sneezed and you were gone. I ended up in the fields and just decided to come here and like wait it out. I haven't seen anybody since. Uh, and then how'd you get past the gate? It's like a slab of wrought iron. It looked impossible to climb. Well, apparently it's not that impossible since, you know, I'm here. I thought you hated physical activity. Uh, not when my life's in peril. Christ. Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just... everyone's okay, mm -hmm. right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Fine. Mo okay, let's focus up. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Something's not right. <sighs> it's been disconnected. Bummer. How are you doing? How are you doing? Think Ren secretly hates me since I 
kind of put my faith in you over him and pressure cooker situations? No, he'll be alright, I can tell. He looks at you like a sister. That doesn't drain easily. I'm just gonna say, before we go any further, notice the triangle shape above Jonas. Something's gonna happen. I'm just guessing. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure. Ooh, you know what? Ooh, this might be the um the chest that takes that combination. 29, 18, 54. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. We think that means she couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Tune into the source. It, it's probably something about the special radios, you know? Huh. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs, so say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. He sounds different. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this huge fly just flew here and scared the crap out of me. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Oh my god. Oh god. Okay. We're calm now. Oh, no. Alex. Oh, Alex. Come oh. down here, please. Oh, we have something we want to show you. Clarissa, what's going on? You're confused, aren't you? Well, you should be. How does it go? Things are different, except in a different way. <laughs> Just come downstairs so we can get started. Oh, <laughs> This. Nona, are you okay? Wait, wake up! No, it's got to do with that mirror. Let's pull these candles. Come on, Jonas, up and at him. Ah, oh, there geez. you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused, but don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Why are you doing this? I thought you... you guys were stuck here, or, or that this wasn't... You signed up for this, Alexandra. Is possible. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. I meant to know what the hell was gonna happen. And yet, without, without understanding, understanding your footing, you've still acted. But don't worry. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see on the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humor as your mother's apple pie. And what if I... What if I don't, huh? What if I just stand here and don't go along with this? Refusal to cooperate will incur grim penalties, I'm afraid, but it's your choice. Now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. What is it? Are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The older models emitted x-rays. But right now, it would be wise to think of radiation in another sense. Pay attention. I spy with my little eye a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Uh, is it the, the 
This painting, it looks kind of like a knot. Celtic. Excellent, excellent. You're doing so well. Oh my god. It's time for the bonus round, right? So stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. The the picture of of I guess it's Maggie Adler and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Anna. You see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing... Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Anna tried to sport with us many years ago and, well, only one survived. And in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. And a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Wait, what? What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use those waves to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. Wait, what? What happens to them after you're... Absorbed. Their form will exist with us inside. It will be a swap, you see, of essences, I guess you could call them. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. You... you had your time. You had your time. Don't take ours just because you had some... some accident. We never had our time. It was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. When our vessel dashed on the rocks, we had until dawn, and so are you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. So... I'm kind of screwed. Oh man. I really don't know what to think. We gotta get this time loop. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. No, that was very, very real. We're in, like, trouble. Yeah. God, that all really... Well, I mean, we're in trouble only if you don't like getting your soul consumed by a hundred-year-old submarine crew. Okay. So, I mean, Christ. If Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost is... Clarissa a is only, like, one slice of the problem. We're all infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah. But how do we do that? Well, uh... A good question. Maggie? Ah, I think Maggie Adler might have had some sort of a plan or a, a scheme or something to fix what's going on. What possible plan could Maggie Adler have? First of all, she's dead. And second of all, she was like the island Mother Goose. She, she wrote in her journal or something or other about tuning into the source of the problem in the cave. And I think she was talking about the ghosts. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right. I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. 
and Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields anyway? Wait, is it a Fippany? Moving on. Be Epiphany Fields, Epiphany meeting. Like, ah, oh, Eureka! Like, I've had an Epiphany. You've had a stroke of genius. That could mean something. Be careful. That film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. So we're not gonna watch it. All right. There's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh, man. If this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos... Yeah. I'm sure this God, is... it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. Brilliant! Is it? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's... That's going a little above. Above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like, scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See, it says when someone sends an emergency signal from the catbird station in the woods and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Okay, any other ideas? Preferably ones that aren't unnecessarily complicated and obtuse and hanging by the thinnest spiderweb thread of relevancy. That was mean. All right then. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Can we just... I mean, can we just, like, think this plan through for, like, one minute before running off half-cocked? <laughs> Everyone heard that, right? <sighs> yes. Don't we need, like, access codes or something like that? Actually, I doubt it. It'll probably be tied to, like, the military radios and, well, we stole them, so... Well, the system works. All right, so it looks like we have to get back up to that catbird station in the episode with the jump scare. We went up there. So, um, oh, 140.1. Okay, that would have been nice to know earlier. So let's head up there and get the bomb shelter that we saw over here in Epiphany Fields open for those two in the next episode. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching, following along. I hope you're all having a great time as I am finally get some answers on what the heck is going on and uh we'll see you next episode bye